Chaplet of St. Gregory the Great Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Follow me as I pray this prayer. Let us open our hearts and feel the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is only right, with all the powers of our heart and mind, to praise your Father and your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father, by your wondrous condescension of loving-kindness toward us, your servants, you gave up your Son. Dear Jesus, you paid the debt of Adam for us to the Eternal Father by your blood poured forth in loving-kindness. You cleared away the darkness of sin by your magnificent and radiant resurrection. You broke the bonds of death and rose from the grave as a conqueror. You reconciled heaven and earth. Our life had no hope of eternal happiness before you redeemed us. Your resurrection has washed away our sins, restored our innocence, and brought us joy. How inestimable is the tenderness of your love! St. Gregory's Easter Prayer Almighty and merciful God, who raised up Gregory of Rome to be a servant of the servants of God, and inspired him to send missionaries to preach the gospel to the English people. Preserve in your church the Catholic and apostolic faith they taught, that your people, being fruitful in every good work, may receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. You came to taste death, Yet you were the life, and had come to bring it to the dead. Amen. O Lord, you received affronts without number from your blasphemers, yet each day you free captive souls from the grip of the ancient enemy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You did not avert your face from the spittle of perfidy, yet you wash souls in saving waters. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You accepted your scourging without murmur, yet through your meditation you deliver us from endless chastisements. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You endured ill treatment of all kinds, Yet you want to give us a share in the choirs of angels in glory everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You did not refuse to be crowned with thorns, yet you save us from the wounds of sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In your thirst you accepted the bitterness of gall, yet you prepare yourself to fill us with eternal delights. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You kept silence under the derisive homage rendered you by your executioners, yet you petition the Father for us, although you are his equal in divinity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrant over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 10.42-45 We pray you, Lord, to preserve your servants in the peaceful enjoyment of Easter happiness. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.